हेलो एवरीबडी एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ टेस्ट ऑटोमेशन टीवी आई एम नईम अक्रम मलिक आई एम अ सीनियर टेस्ट ऑटोमेशन इंजीनियर विद मोर देन अ डेकेड ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन टेस्ट ऑटोमेशन I am starting a new series of videos which will be called Code Recipes. In the first episode of Code Recipes, I am going to share with you the recipe to create a method which will generate a string of random alphanumerics. So this string for example if you see on my screen contains a capital letter, it contains small letters, it also contains a number. now we are going to generate a string like this so in order to do that i am going to use c sharp dotnet language and i have opened visual studio 2019 in front of me so i am going to double click the test method which is showing in the test explorer that is make random string inside of this test method you can see that i have called console dot write line with generate random string this generate random string is the method which i am going to explain to you at first i thought i should write the code in front of you but then i believe that it will be better if i could explain more and write less so i will press f12 to go to the definition of this method this method takes only one parameter which is the length of the string that we want to generate all right and by default it is 10 and if the user supplies a value less than 1 then we are going to make the value 10 we will enforce that the value is positive and a reasonable value so the next thing is we have an instance of string builder class over here the string builder is a string utility class which helps us to make strings in a memory efficient way simply concatenating the strings can be very heavy on the memory so this is a better way so i have an instance of string builder i have newed it up and next i have an object of random class which i am going to generate various random numbers so the algorithm here is that first of all we have a loop of uh, suppose 10 numbers like from 0 to 10 so this loop will run by default for 10 uh, times and if the user supplies a different value for example 4 in the parameter then this string this loop will run for four times so it this depends on the user input the length of string you want to generate depends on this for loop and vice versa <laughs> and the next thing is that we are going to generate a random number which will decide what type of character it is that we want to generate so there are four types of characters like first is a number a numeric character then there will be small alphabet capital alphabet and a special character like this so what i am going to do here is first i am going to generate a random number between 1 and 4 i am calling the next method here which returns us a random number and then we have a switch statement a switch statement on the type of the number which is returned it contains four cases 1 2 3 4 every time uh, on every iteration of this loop there will be a random number there will be a number most likely different from the previous number and in that case we are going to append something to the string builder which we created up here this string builder okay so what are we appending if the number 1 was generated from the random number generation over here then we are going to append it a random number between 0 and 9 so a random number between 0 and 9 will be appended to the string builder and if the number 2 was returned then we are going to append a number between 97 and 122 first of all we are generating a number between 97 and 122 why are we doing this we are doing this because the ascii values are of the small letters are between 97 and what was that <laughs> 122 all right so if you come here and if you see over here you will see that um where is 97 yeah right here so 97 is 
the number 97 when converted to ascii is equal to small a and the small z is 122 so this means that this first of all we are going to generate a random number between 97 and 122 and then we are going to type cast it this is called typecasting so this way we can get the character equivalent of the random number which will be generated by this method call to the next method and if the number 3 is generated we are going to go and generate a random number between 65 and 90 how why well because uh, this if you go to the ascii chart of uh, values we will see that the number 65 right here is equal to capital a and the number 90 is equal to capital g so this is how we are generating these characters and then there are special characters 33 and 40 to 46 these characters can be seen in the ascii table over here this is the exclamation sign up to 43 is the plus sign yeah. Yeah, 46 so 46 is this dot i suppose yeah. so this is how this method is going to work all right so in the end when this loop will be over we are going to return the two string of red well when we call the two string on a string builder it returns us the string equivalent of the stuff which is contained inside of it there are many other helpful methods of string builder uh, i can make a video about them later on but now if we come here you see and then uh, you can see before calling the method you can see here that we have this string rvf8 previously i will save everything and i will run this method once again it is taking 10 milliseconds please take a note so now it is finished running and i click the output over here and now you can see a different string is generated if we want to generate more than one strings then what happens let us suppose i put this statement in a loop and run again all right so now you can see it is generating the same string again and again it generated one string once and then everything changed it is happening because we are supplying the millisecond in the random number generator uh, we can remove it from here and see what happens then all right again same result because internally i believe it is using milliseconds so the best way should be that we go here we add small weight over here we can do that by by calling system dot threading dot thread dot sleep method and we will supply it only 10 one second contains 1000 milliseconds 10 millisecond is a very small weight let us build this again and run the same test one more time all right so now it is finished in 149 millisecond and now you can see that it has generated various strings which contain different characters so this is one way to generate such a string you can get all of this code from my blog which is a programmersday.blogspot.com i will provide the link down below in the description of this video if you are watching this video on youtube please uh, like this video and please subscribe to my channel i keep posting very useful videos about automated testing and programming and if you are watching on linkedin please follow me because linkedin recently sent me an email it said that now people can follow you so you can also follow me as well and please if you want me to make some specific video if you want to learn a specific topic just put it in the comment below i would love to help you i would love to create a video for you or even more than one videos for you Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch. Do subscribe to Test Automation TV. Have a good day. Bye.